May in its graduation season. But this graduation in Menlo Park, California was a little different from most. It was a graduation for robots. 11 robots built at a little company called Willow Garage, dedicated to accelerating robotics R&D. This first class of PR2 robots is going off into the world, 10 to universities, and one directly to industry, to the labs at Bosch. And there's been a lot of ups and downs, and you know, we thought we were going to get this done in about a year. It turned out to be almost, almost three years now, so, but you know, you can't, it turns out you can make a baby in nine months, but you can't make 11 babies in nine months or a year. You know, a lot of very expensive robots are going in in the world that you guys are you know, funding and sending them there. What's the reason for doing that? The reason is there's a huge number of brilliant people working in robotics, and they don't have the tools they need to be as effective as they could be. That when you look at the future of robotics and you look at the number of people that could do better if they had the right tools, that makes the robots look cheap by comparison. Right? There's this huge opportunity, and by just putting out 11 robots, we think we can help that. And so that's a fantastic chance. I'd like to announce the winners of the PR2 beta program. Woo! University of California at Berkeley. Technical University of Munich. What will happen to these robots after graduation? Oh, there's lots of plans for them. Kitchen? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we have um, this assistive kitchen lab, um, which is kind of meant as a um, kitchen or environment for the future. So we're going to have the robot in there, um, which will be able to help elderly and handicapped people. So in, in a sense, uh, we know that elderly people kind of don't like to go in the elderly houses, would like to stay home and we're gonna have the robot there um, to let's say uh, make a set the tables for them clean the table after them put the dishes into the dishwasher uh, mop the floor and so on and so forth and uh, the name of the project uh, therefore is a tidy up robot and what we are promising is uh, that we will be able to um, reliably reliably grasp objects from uh, a table and uh, put it back into um, its place in drawers, etc. We are working on uh, interactions with humans, so one or many humans. Uh, we're focusing on special needs populations, so we're working with children with autism, uh, people in post drug rehabilitation, uh, the elderly, people with Alzheimer's. Uh, you know, a human makes like something around like three billion or something like muscle decisions in their lifetime. And uh, I'm sure nobody knows, you know, nobody counts that. And so, you know, when you're, when you're planning how to do something, like figure out how to tell a robot how to do something, you don't plan every single muscle movement, you plan at a higher level. So we want to do something similar with the robot. Um, another thing is uh, learning from demonstrations. And so it's often a lot easier to show, how, show somebody how to do something than try to explain it. The same thing goes with programming a robot. So, you know, if we can show the robot how to tie a knot and, you know, keep it similar to those demonstrations, then now the robot knows how to tie a knot. I'm going to interview older adults and uh, home health care providers about um, their technology acceptance and attitudes and expectations with, about the PR2. And to do uh, planning for opening spring-loaded doors with the PR2. So we currently open regular doors, however many doors, like fire exits, are spring-loaded. So you can't just pull it open, leave it open, and then go through it. So we're going to look to use two arms to open the door fully while moving through it and then uh, be able to fully navigate throughout a building with, with spring-loaded doors and without spring-loaded doors. Because we're building uh, a framework that allows uh, programmers to specify tasks based on constraints. So in the company... Here too, we're planning to work on kitchen tasks, basically have the robot cook and clean for you and do all those messy little dirty chores that nobody else wants to do. But the robot, if the robot can do it, we'll be really happy. But before the hard work begins, it was time for a graduation party. <laughs> For IEEE Spectrum, I'm Tecla Perry.